some kind of problem? Are you sleeping with Paul Pembroke's wife? I really don't see what business it is of yours who I'm sleeping with. I told Paul I'd get you to leave Darcy alone. Nothing personal, just business. Nobody tells me what to do in my own place. You'd better turn around and walk out of here while you still can. Think this through. Darcy isn't worth dying for. Or killing for. You know what? You're right. This whole thing with Darcy and me. Bad idea. I admit it. Not like I planned it or anything. She was just always hanging around here. You know how it is. Look, tell Paul it's over. I swear. I won't even let her in my bar anymore. Is that good enough for you? promise to be good that's your offer you're right it wouldn't be enough if I was in his shoes I have an idea something I've been thinking about for a while already kill two birds with one stone you know what's the idea here's the deal I have some other um, businesses on the side one of them is helping Nelson Latimer spend his dad's money to make himself feel like a gangster Who's Nelson Latimer? Malcolm's kid. An arrogant little pissant. But useful, since he has all the money in the world and likes to think of himself as a budding crime boss. Me and Nelson are supposed to be meeting some gentlemen from Good Neighbor to exchange Nelson's cash for their chems. My plan is simple. We take the money and the chems. Hold on. I have some questions first. Yeah? What is it? Why do you want to screw these guys over all of a sudden? Oh, it isn't all of a sudden. Nelson's been complaining about my cut for a while now. He may be thinking about trying to strike out on his own. I've been waiting for the right opportunity to present itself. And here it is. Anything else? What about afterwards? Won't everyone be after us? Come on. You know the answer. No witnesses. Anything else? Why smuggle chems into Diamond City? Chems aren't illegal here. Sure, but Mayor McDonough takes a big cut of all the chems brought into town. Not everybody thinks that's good business. That's where me and Nelson come in. He fronts the cash, I make the arrangements. Cheap chems for Diamond City. Everybody wins. Anything else? That's it. Okay. So you're in then? I don't know. An awful lot of unknowns. Trust me. We can do this. No problem. The meeting's always in the same place. They always bring the same number of guys. They'll never know what hit them. I guess it's worth the risk. Let's do this. Now you're talking. I promise you won't regret it. In a few hours, we're both going to be sitting pretty. Up. Just point me to it. Over here. Yeah, 
It's true. I got shot in the ass last year. Long story. Starting to think he doesn't need me. Trish won't hand over the chems until I get there. You see, I'm the one she trusts. who's in charge, and then three other guys to unload the boat and wave their gun at me. You should be able to work your way around these buildings to get a good angle on them. I'll wait for the shooting to start, then join in from here. Remember, we can't afford to let anybody get away. saying anything. You first. I'll back you up. Okay, but don't leave me hanging. Even I might have trouble taking them all out by myself.
care of that. Look, you bastard! Morosi's going to kill you for this! Oh, I think you have more immediate problems. Wait, I can help you! This here? This is nothing compared to what's at Morosi's chem lab. What's at this chem lab? More chems than you can imagine. Morowski's entire stash. But you'll never find it without my help. Tell me what you know first. Well, okay. I'm trusting you, right? The lab is in the old Forley fish packing plant. On the waterfront in South Boston. What's so secure about that? The place is overrun with feral ghouls. Which don't even look twice at my crew, because they're all ghouls like me. My idea, by the way. I assume there's more to it than getting past the ferals. You assume, right? The real security is a system of tripwires that have to be triggered in exactly the right order to open the door to the lab. You never even know the lab was there when the door is closed. So how do I get in without hitting all the tripwires? With a password, which I can give you. There's a terminal that will bypass the tripwires and open the door to the lab. So I have your promise, right? If I give you the password, you let me walk? I'll definitely kill you if you don't tell me. You bastard. Mm, I guess I gotta trust you. The password is Applejack. There, now you've got everything. And I'm completely screwed forever. I hope you can live with that. Sorry, Trish. What? Ah! I guess we're done here. So that's that. I told you it was no Guess problem. Gonna need that in. The money should still be on Nelson's body. And then there's these chems, which you'll need to sell somehow. But that's your problem now. I'm leaving town for good. Should make things easier for Paul to have me gone. Plus, there's no plausible way I could explain to Morowski how I wasn't involved with this unless I die. alive.